reflections that may help us enjoy the amazing word of God in the gospel that the church shares with us every Sunday. This is the 20th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and the gospel is according to Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. This is Alejandro Burgos from El Paso, Texas. Please remember, the Catechism of the Church encourages us to read, study, and understand the sacred scriptures. But it, this call is not to be understood as a license for a free interpretation outside of the Magisterium of the Church, because the Magisterium tells us what is Catholic and what is not Catholic. This mini workshop will probably will be partially based on the book. Understanding Jesus' Miracles and Parables, Part 2, Chapter 9, A Woman's Fate. That's the uh, title of uh, the Gospel today. The Gospel is according to Matthew 15, 21, 28. And you can also find it in Mark 7, verses 24 to 30. Jesus left the place and went off to the territory near the cities of Tire and Sidon. A Canaanite woman who lived in that region came to him, son of David, she cried out. Have mercy on me, sir. My daughter has a demon and is in a terrible condition. But Jesus did not say a word to her. His disciples came to him and begged him, send her away. She is following us and making all this noise. Then Jesus replied, I have been sent only to the lost sheep of the people of Israel. At this, the woman came and fell at his feet. Help me, sir, she said. And Jesus answered, It is right to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. That's true, sir, she answered. But even the dogs eat the leftovers that fall from their master's table. So Jesus answered her, you are a woman of great faith. What you want will be done for you. And that very moment, her daughter was healed. A woman's faith. At first look, we may think that this miracle is about the healing of the daughter of the woman mentioned in the reading. Granted. There was a healing of the girl, but there is something a lot, much more profound than that. There is the apparent problem that the woman asking with faith was a Gentile. It means not a Jewish woman. And there is also the issue that all the Jewish people were under the belief that the promised Messiah was going to come someday, but only for them for the Jewish people. In this gospel, we can identify at least three important teachings to reflect upon. Teaching number one, Jesus revealed that he is the redeemer of all mankind. The significance of this miracle is paramount. It's the first time that Jesus tacitly indicated that he came as the redeemer of all mankind. The miracle is the first one performed to heal a Gentile, not a Jew, a Gentile, a Canaanite woman. This was a totally unexpected revelation. The Jewish people were waiting for their Messiah, but never anticipated that their belief and the promise was to be fulfilled by the Son of God himself. The Messiah anticipated by the Jewish people was supposed to be their liberator, not a liberator for everybody in the world. It's a beautiful picture of Jesus in the Mount uh, in Brazil, with, the, with a full moon in his back. In Rio de Janeiro. Teaching number two. 
Jesus was moved by the fate of the Canaanite, the Gentile woman. And you can see in the picture, the woman begging him and the dog to the left area of the picture. And Jesus telling her something that seemed harsh, that seemed kind of hard from Jesus. But it was so important for us, this particular gospel. When Jesus responded to her request to heal her daughter, that it was not right to take away the food from the children, the Jews, to give it to the dogs, the Gentiles. The woman humbly responded to him that even the dogs eat the leftovers that fall from their master's table. It was an analogy, not an insult, an analogy used by Jesus that the woman could understand, and she certainly did. According to her response, she really understood what Jesus was trying to tell her. Teaching number three. Jesus is teaching us that a strong faith from an apparently insignificant person may have an immense value for everybody else. Remember, this is when Jesus revealed that he came as the Redeemer for all mankind. Jesus was so impressed by her faith that he decided not only to grant her request, but to use this opportunity to tacitly reveal that salvation was available for everybody, including the Gentiles, which was totally unexpected. Some key concepts. Jesus is the Redeemer of all mankind, and yes, that includes you. Jesus is moved by our faith in him. And faith in Jesus is paramount for our salvation. Let me ask you, who were the people waiting for the Messiah? What happened here that is paramount for us? Why was Jesus moved to grant the miracle to the Canaanite woman? You have enough information here to ponder about these questions by yourself. This is the end of the workshop. I see you next Sunday. Please don't forget.